Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and as we continue exploring the Windows Security app for Windows 11 and Windows 10, on Windows 11 the next option in the Windows Security app is Firewall and Network Protection. What's that all about? By default all the firewall settings should be on. That's the first thing that should be there. So domain network, private network and public network so everything that has to do with inter and with connectivity to other computers, to the internet, all of that should be on the firewall for Windows. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that apart from Windows firewall, often and for a lot of devices, uh, routers and modems, there are firewalls in them also. So if you use a router, um, you probably have a hardware firewall that we call which is even better than a um, software firewall because it's dumb and the fact that it's dumb and incapable of having changes done easily makes it the perfect firewall to block everything. So the, the firewall is simply a um, check of all the different ports that connect with the outside world. You don't want everything to be open because your PC would be infected easily. You want to open only certain ports with certain software because that's how you can still connect to the outside world but still be protected. So these options should all be on and if they're not, then you can of course look at the different options to check out the uh, firewall for the network. So every network you have, you can turn it on if you want. And if you want to block everything, you can, of course, go and block all incoming connections, including those in the list of the allowed apps. That will simply block everything. So you have options to the different uh, networks. The uh, other uh, thing that you can do here in the firewall network protection is allow an app through the firewall. So this will bring you the firewall list. It already has apps that are... Uh, possible and there's two options private or public so what you could do in here is simply um, you know allow an app another app if you want but for that you have to change settings so before you do so you have to click change settings which will allow you to change settings and then you can allow an app or anything else you just choose the app through the app list or browse to the executable of that app that you want to allow. By default, normally what happens is that a new app will ask permission and that should be automatic. You rarely need to go and play with these settings to allow an app through. But it can happen and if it does, then you can go there and do it. You have a network and internet troubleshooter. If you have a problem, it brings you to the apps, to the uh, system app, to the uh, settings app, sorry, that uh, you have all the troubleshooters that are available. So recommended troubleshooter preferences and all troubleshooters are here. So got some problem with what, with a lot of things. You can just run the troubleshooting options and hope that it fixes your issue. Firewall notification settings, which is, of course, telling you what is going to happen and how it's happening. Security providers. So if you look at security providers, in this case, it's all Windows. If you use a third-party app, if you use a third-party firewall like Zone Alarm, these will show up here. Your security providers will be in a list here that you can look at what are the providers that are giving you your security. And the notifications, you can manage the notifications. And here you'll have information about, of course, the virus and threat protection information, account protection information, but also the notifications of the Defender Firewall blocks on new apps. And it's on. What does that mean? That means Every time you install something new that wants to connect to the internet, it should pop up. This app wants to have an outside connection to the world. 
do you agree with it or not? And of course, I've seen that regularly with apps that I use. So that is, of course, another uh, setting here. You've got advanced settings. The advanced settings will bring you to the firewall and um, all, all the Windows Defender firewall and advanced security options that exist. And this comes actually from the control panel. Some of you might recognize that this is a control panel. And you can actually add rules or um, from what comes out or what goes in your PC. So you got inbound rules for everything coming in, outbound rules for everything going out. You have connection security rules, and you have monitoring that is possible. So this is really much more advanced, and there's all, all sorts of policies that you can actually add or change in here. And if you have issues, if something's just not right, if something is blocked, then one of the things that you have, one of the options you have, you can restore the firewalls to its default. It will actually just bring it back to what it was when you installed Windows for the first time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.